Fresh Park. In this session, you will learn how to build your new grind rail. We'll start off with the equipment list. Your equipment consists of four turn knobs, four bracket screws, two long support legs, two short support legs, two support feet, and one end cap and one end hinge. Go ahead and lay out all your equipment and decide which legs you're going to start with. In this particular setup, we use the shorter legs to start, which is a little easier to set up. Each of the turn knobs has a pin in it to help you guide in its place. Then you simply screw the knob in until it is snug. No tools are needed to tighten these. You do not need to over tighten them either. Just a snug fit will work. We're gonna take the second short leg, install it into our grind rail feet. Take another knob with the pin, tighten to a snug fit. From there, we will take our red grind rail, slide our leg with the foot already attached into the sleeve of the red grind rail. We will then take the other leg and foot, install it in the other end of the red grind rail sleeve with our pin and turn knob. You have six choices per leg for heights. You can pick any height that you'd like. Most people like it level, but that decision is up to you. Next, we will take our round black end cap and slide it into one end of the grind rail with the holes facing down. Use a pressure fit, slide it right in, then use two of your Allen key screws to secure the end cap in the end. You do not need to over tighten these, just use the provided Allen key and tighten them to a snug fit. But again, do not over tighten these, it's not necessary to do so. Next, we will go to the other end of the grind rail. We will pick up our spare hinge and two remaining Allen key bolts. We will slide the hinge into the end of the grind rail aligning the four open holes at the base of the grind rail. Take your two Allen key screws, put them in the end side of the grind rail, snug them up with your fingers, and then follow up with a couple turns of the Allen key. Again, you do not need to over tighten these, just make them firm and snug. This hinge will allow you to connect to any of the other Fresh Park rails or ramps in any configuration that you'd like. All the hinges are the same for the Fresh Park obstacles. If you decide that you would like to change the height of your grind rail, simply remove the two turn knobs at each end of the grind rail and in the grind rail foot, remove the leg that you have in there, replace it with the longer or shorter leg that you desire, Set the height and reinstall your turn knobs. The grind rail can be used in any configuration that you'd like. You can use a low leg on one side and a high on the other, or you can leave it at a flat setup. The options are limitless. Set it up however you'd like, change it as many times as you'd like. The rail is safe to set up and skate now. For more information, tips, and how-to videos, as well as other accessories for Fresh Park, go to www.freshpark.com.